159, uh, which begins, I believe, all the way back in chapter, in the same chapter, verse 151. And this talks about the Sirat al the, the straight path. Um, verse 151 and five, 152 talk about various details, such as um, do not do shirk, do not kill your children, uh, do not come close to fahsha. Um, verse 152 talks about coming to the orphan's property, etc. Then verse 153 says, وَأَنَّ هَذَا سِرَاتِ مُسْتَقِيمًا And verily this is my straight path, follow it. This is what's meant by that rule. Um, and if you continue to 159, uh, then it talks about those who divide their being and uh, break up into sex. So nobody here is actually doing that. Uh, we are all trying to hold on to the rope of Allah. Um, and again, here I, I believe that you know people who, who think that there is only one Islam fail to understand the gap of interpretation. When you engage with the Quran, there is, I believe, an almost lifelong process of trying to explicate truth from the Quran. Uh, this is not something you, you can just read the Quran overnight and you realize, okay, I got it 100%, I'm safe now. No, it doesn't work like that. Um, there is a lengthy process of interpretation and people take great lengths uh, of time to arrive at their interpretation. So uh, for us to, to think that, okay, well, if you disagree with me, you are breaking up with the rope of Allah. It's more like, if you disagree with me, you're breaking up with me, as opposed to the rope of Allah. Unless you claim that I have the final answer. So, that, I, I believe that should answer the question.